Today, Oregon Governor Kate Brown announced a new way to monitor the risk of COVID in each county. It means different safety measures will apply to different counties. And so state health leaders say this new system is going to help them better manage the virus through this winter. So what does this mean for businesses who are currently under tight restrictions? Jenny Young spoke to a small business owner in Clackamas County. What's he saying about this latest news, Jenny? Well, Jeff Elizabeth, he said the first freeze or the, the freeze that just happened, he said he wasn't happy about it. He understood why Governor Brown did it, but it couldn't have come at a worse time for restaurants. This new action will loosen some restrictions. It will will we'll allow people to eat outside of restaurants, but he says that's not going to help his business. We have approximately 53 varieties of tamales for the holiday season. Charles Mays owns Canby Asparagus Farms and Casa de Tamales. This year we're providing the crab tamale, the shrimp tamale, and a Mideast tamale, which is with beef. Watching them make tamales will make your mouth water, but unfortunately they haven't been selling many lately. Our sales right now are down 50%, 80% some days. If it wasn't for the fact that we were providing the walk-in or the delivery, we would be dead. Today, Governor Brown announced a new framework for classifying the risk of COVID in the state. Health authorities will now categorize counties by risk level, extreme, high, moderate, and low. The safety measures put in place in each county will depend on its risk level. Leaders in Clackamas County say they embrace the new approach, saying, among other things, it will help businesses and the county plan ahead for reopening. Right now, the county is under extreme risk. Their public health director says the reality is people have grown tired of COVID safety messages, but says we must all do our part to save lives and prevent hospitals from becoming overwhelmed. This is really a call to action. Your individual choices and behaviors and how you plan to approach this holiday season really does have an impact on our essential health care workers. Under the new framework, you'll be allowed to eat at a restaurant, but only outside. I just do not feel that people are going to be coming out to dine outside, spending lots of money to eat out in the cold and in the rain. All right, so that goes into effect. Outdoor dining goes into effect on December 3rd. No more than 50 people, including staff, though, at a restaurant, and we found out they're allowed to put tents outside, but there must be 75% must be open air. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News. Your heart just goes out to these restaurant owners. I mean, how are they surviving this? Jenny, thank you.